at the end of this video I have an end screen that'll send you to a link to my playlist for high lift jack videos and it has some videos that I've done on there and also has videos that other youtubers have done on uh, high lift jacks how to use them and so forth so if you want to get some good information on how to use a high lift jack you can go to that playlist and you can spend a few hours looking at all those videos if you care to but uh, let's take a closer look at this jack Bevels go up. When you raise it up, it'll slide up. You click in when it gets to the next hole in the rail. And then the bottom climbing pin climbs up. Clicks in. It alternates between the top and the bottom, just climbs up those holes in the rail. When you hit the release lever, I usually hit it with the handle. And then that moves the top pin out, and when you raise this, that raises the bottom pin up. I've been using these high lift jacks for quite a few years and I just bought this fix it kit. These little kits are a little bit expensive. I think this cost me like 30 bucks, 32 bucks, something like that. I'm gonna open this package up and lose all these parts. That's the shear pin right there. And you got these uh, climbing pins, spare climbing pins in there. These are would take all the load. You climb up that rail, So you might want to have some of these as spares. I imagine these would get a ridge in them or something and get sticky. And then also a little lubrication packet there. There's the lubricant that comes in the kit. And it says in the instructions that they don't want you they don't want you putting any of that lubricant on the bevel of the climbing pin, nor do they want you putting any lubricant in these uh, holes, they call this a standard. I think I was calling it a climbing rail. So you're not supposed to put any lubricant in these holes right here. And then it has a little spring, of course. There's a spring. And then it has these pins that Keep these, keep the climbing pins. This is the lower climbing pin. This is the retaining pin. That's kind of expanded, so you need a little hammer to put those in. And I think on the instructions, it recommends you have a punch to punch them out, but a little screwdriver and a hammer sure if you have to make a hammer out of a rock or whatever but 30 bucks for this little setup I gotta put in a little bag and put it in my uh, case for this thing so this is the pocket this pockets pretty deep keep this little kit in here I don't know if I'm going to keep that in there anymore. This piece I was pointing out that goes in that pocket. That attaches up here. Let's 
so like you can put a chain up here and then you like attach a chain to here or a strap and then you could use it the high left as a winch there's there's other videos about that but I take this off so that I could put my little PVC protector on keep it in this pocket get that other keep this on there Let's go ahead and get this thing back in its bag down all the way make sure this is down all the way pop in first 